Budweiser, of course, is the boat to beat. 15 seconds now to the start of the race. Lumar window film with Nate Brown could give him a run. Mark Webber just off his first heat win on the wildfire. Mitch Evans and Appian Geronimo, the second fastest qualifier, and Mark Evans always a rival to Dave Vilwak in the Pico. The Budweiser out in lane three. You can talk about the equipment, and he certainly has it, the best in the sport, but give some credit to Dave Vilwak. Once again, he just wires the start. From the O'Doul's eye in the sky, we see Pico American Dream is on the inside in lane one. Nate Brown and Lumar window film in lane two. The wildfire is in four. Elam Plus with Jimmy King on the outside, and Dave Vilwak is way out in front. Happy and Geronimo, the trailer boat. That's why you saw five boats in the front row. Steve David and the Deja Vu did not make the start, and already a big lead for the Budweiser after half a lap. In the rooster tail of the Budweiser, here comes Nate Brown and Lumar window film moving outside the bud. Vilwak, a rough ride, Sponson to Sponson. Nate Brown, feeling he was getting pinched a little between the Pico and the Budweiser, decides to move out into lane three, so now he's inside the wildfire, has the Budweiser to his left. We have a problem. There's a flare going up, and apparently, yes, we have a boat upside down. It's Nate Brown in the Lumar window film, upside down, back in the pack. We didn't see exactly what happened, but the rescue crews are already there. Now here's a replay. We talked about Nate moving out. Now the wildfire to his right thinks the Budweiser is the next boat to his left. He might not know the Lumar is there. And Nate apparently got into that rooster tail. And at some point right about here comes through the rooster tail upside down. You can see the boat rolling right there in the middle of your screen. Now back to Nate stepping out of the boat right side up, maintaining that sense of humor, a little bit woozy, but apparently he's going to be okay, and we are going to have a restart. On Mission Bay here in San Diego, the boat's now approaching the start, the restart, I should say, of the final. Lumar window film upside down in the first effort at getting this underway. Nate Brown's okay, but of course the boat's in no shape to race. Beneficiaries of Nate Brown's misfortune are the Appian Geronimo, which had been the trailer boat originally. He moves up into the front row, and Steve David in the Deja Vu, unable to start the first time out. This time, he has it running. Mark Evans, trying to make his own luck, has jumped out to the lead in lane three. Appian Geronimo, brother Mitch in lane two, and this time Dave Vilwak in the Budweiser is on the inside in lane one. But in the early going, it's Mark Evans and Mitch Evans. And now here comes Dave Vilwak with this time the shorter route to go in the big red boat. The Budweiser in third place at the start. But look at these three of our fastest hydroplanes are side by side now at nearly 200 miles an hour. What a great boat race. And look at the speed from the Appian and the Pico. The brothers Evans up against each other and Dave Vilwak trailing by just a little bit up around the buoys on the inside. To the outside comes Jimmy King and Miss Elam Plus, and Steve David trails the deja vu. Now, Dave Vilwak has taken the lead here on the inside lane. Appy and Geronimo falling back into second, and Pico American Dream in third. Look from the O'Doul's eye in the sky as Vilwak tries to open it up in the straightaway. You're just not going to be able to keep the Budweiser behind you when he has the inside unless you get the overlap and close him down. Nobody able to do that. Now Vilwak with open water ahead of him. As we look from the cockpit view, we see what Dave Vilwak sees. Smooth water again, as he's seen so many times this year. Your first lap average speed over 153 miles per hour. Mitch Evans and the Appian Geronimo trying to close the distance between them. And Brother Mark trying to move up on Brother Mitch in lane three. He seems to be having success doing that, Mark Evans does. The Appian Geronimo taking advantage of the restart. They were way back in the trailer boat position. Now they're running in second place, but having a very close race with Brother Mark in the Pico American Dream. Dave Vilwak not all that tight around the buoys. Doesn't have to be all that tight. Just needs to keep it going strong now. You can see he's got about a half a straightaway lead on the Evans brothers. Mitch and the Appian still slightly ahead of brother Mark in the Pico American Dream. See how dramatic the view is from the Fiesta Island side as the boats come right by you. And Dave Vilwak, this dramatic view out the front window of the Miss Budweiser. Running in about lane two now as he swings onto the back straightaway. With Dave Vilwak flying toward a perfect day, we're down to a four-boat race now. Mark Evans and the Pico American Dream, the boat is dead in the water. Steve David and the Deja Vu also no longer running. So now we have Abby and Geronimo alone in second place. On the outside in third is Jimmy King and the Miss Elam Plus. And then fourth, Mark Weber driving the wildfire, a boat we've not had occasion to mention in this race up until now because it had fallen far behind. 
Here is Dave Vilwak running for that checkered flag. Your winner in the Ralphs, Bill Muncy Cup. Here in San Diego, Dave Vilwak. That makes it seven out of eight races on the tour this year for the Budweiser team owned by Bernie Little. Second place, Mitch Evans and Jerry Rises at the Injur Automo. Taking very good advantage of the chance to start in the front row after the restart. Jimmy King, the Elstrom family's Miss Elam Plus, takes third. And fourth goes to Mark Weber in the Kim Gregory Wildfire. On the deck of the Pico American Dream, Mark Evans takes a bow, not able to finish here. Steve David and Deja Vu not able to start. So as we check the O'Doul's high point standing,